welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Lauren and today's video is going to be a split pea vegan soup um, yeah I've had some split peas in my cupboard for ages they're still in date <laughs> but I've uh, really not know what to do with them for quite a while and then I decided I wanted to make a split pea soup and I finally got around to it yesterday so this is the little recipe I came up with um, not fully on my own I did look up on Google found a recipe and I tweaked it to what I had in and added a little bit more and it turned out okay so I'm quite pleased with it and I filmed it so I'm sharing it anyway so yeah it tasted quite good um, I hope you give it a go and let's get straight into the video so firstly I'm just going to take my two red onions and slice and chop them into little pieces. You can use whichever onion you prefer. Um, the recipe that I originally saw for this used one white onion but I only had red onions in and they're quite small so I decided to use two onions. And although this isn't a must, I decided to put my red onion into a pan with a little bit of hot water just to let them steam through a bit. Um, even though they're going in the slow cooker, I just decided to do this as you would normally if you was making it on the hob. You would uh, fry your onions and stuff like that first. And so once my onions were in the pan and slowly softening I started peeling and chopping my sweet potatoes so again the original recipe that I saw for this was um, two large white potatoes but again I only had sweet potatoes in so decided to substitute them for this so with my sweet potatoes I just thinly slice off the ends and then I'm going to chop them into bite-sized pieces just so that they'll cook easier into in, in the slow cooker by this point the onions were nice and soft and cooked through and oh my goodness just look at the colour of all that I think that looks amazing um, I decided to throw in the celery and carrots as well and I popped a lid on and allowed them to steam for around 10 minutes just so that it were a little bit softer and they would cook easier in the slow cooker um, as by this point it was about 3 o'clock and so I only had 2 hours for tea to be ready Next I got on with rinsing the sweet potatoes and I took my board away and gave it a little wipe down because it had got a bit grubby at this point. And then I got on with preparing the garlic cloves. So I just used two pretty big garlic cloves, um, but you can use more or less. It's up to you. It's whatever you prefer in taste. Then once the garlic was all prepared and in the crusher, ready to go in, I then got my steamed veggies and threw them all into the slow cooker. Then I took my split green, green peas and threw those into the slow cooker also, scraped the garlic in and added in some oregano, two tablespoons, some salt and some black pepper. I realised at this point that I needed to steam the potatoes as well so I threw those in the pan and gave them a few minutes and slightly burnt them underneath but you know that probably just added to the flavour. So I added those to the slow cooker and then added all of my vegetable stock. Gave it a good stir and popped the lid on. I then set the slow cooker to high and just placed it on for two hours. Once there was about 10 minutes left of the slow cooking time, I poured the coconut oil in, no, the coconut milk in. <laughs> Gave it another quick stir and popped the lid back on and left it for the remaining time. I decided to blend our soup up with an immersion blender in, uh, in the slow cooker pot but it definitely would have come out a bit smoother had I put it into a high speed blender. Then I added two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, blended that up again. And although it tasted okay, I felt like there was something missing, so I added two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar as well. Then I served it up with some chilli flakes, there remained a little bit of um, coconut milk from the bottom of the tin and some seasoning. And this was the end result. And yeah, it turned out quite well. So I hope you give this recipe a go. If you do, please let me know how it turns out for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope um, you will subscribe to my channel. I've got many more recipes coming over the following months. 